let's get ready for Hoop Jab. We saw you kind of appear to, to roll your ankle or something, but when, do you, when did you uh, tweak the hamstring? Uh, first, praise my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, honestly, I couldn't tell you when I tweaked it. Uh, I knew it was just a little tight in the second half. I mean, the first play of the second half, I twist my damn ankle. Uh, and, you know, I just wanted to make sure I went in the back, make sure it wasn't too crazy. I'm always a guy who bounces back pretty quick, uh, especially with ankle injuries. But, you know, I went back out there. My uh, left hand, me felt a little tight. Uh, I didn't think anything of it. I just kept playing. I uh, pushed through it. And then uh, I think the layup on McDermott at the end and put us at one. And, uh, that kind of in intensified it a little bit. And then the final little floater I missed at the end, that definitely uh, that kind of put it over the top for me. So uh, coach just played smart, got me out of there. And uh, thank God we closed it out. And you said the other night after your 40 point game that you were having fun again, you were enjoying being here. Obviously winning helps all of those things, but where are you at at this point, 50 points tonight, you have to be having fun still, even if you're, uh, you're a little banged up. Uh, of course, uh, I had the, the honor of having my parents at the game tonight. You know, they drove up three or four hours. So the last thing I'm gonna do is waste their damn time and, and watching me play like ass. So uh, my mom wouldn't let me live that down. So uh, <laughs> I always have fun and play hard whenever she's in town. Uh, so I give this one to them. Chase. Brad, just what can you say about the way that uh, the team closed it out and the end of regulation and then overtime is, is obviously you weren't able to get back out there? Uh, it was obviously tough for me. Um, you know, I'm, I'm always a warrior. You guys know that. Nobody will ever be able to question my toughness and you know my uh, commitment to the team um, and my desire to just lay my body out there no matter what. Um, so in that regard, you know, it's always it's always great to be able to have your teammates have your back and your support uh, when you go down. And uh, it's always it's always next man up, next man up to step up and and do their job and contribute. As best as it can, you know. Uh, Davies hit hit some big shots down the stretch, and rest 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 took over. Um, so uh, he's been excellent all year. I'm happy for him. He got he got what 180 181 today. So uh, that's a blessing, man. And uh, you know we're all happy to be a part of that. Uh, it was a historical night for everybody. You know, it's a bigger win. The win is is huge. You know, we move up the ninth too. So it's even much more better. Zach. Brad, what are you going to remember most about this night in particular? I mean, don't say the injury, but outside of that, you know, imagine one of those games like you're going to look back on in your career and be like, wow, that was, you know, one of those that you'll just never forget. Uh, I mean, for sure. I mean, we were part of, I mean, Russ's historical night tonight. And, uh, you know, I think that kind of, you know, takes the cake on everything, you know, from the history of the game, you know, the evolution of the game uh, and, and to where we are now. And, you know, Russ is one of the best players that ever pick up a basketball, you know, and uh, to do that on a nightly basis, it's very tough to do. Uh, I think people kind of pat you know, kind of side eye them like it's uh, passed down or whatever the case may be, but it's, you try going out there and doing it every single night. Uh, it's very tough to do. It's tough to re get yourself mentally ready, you know, so uh, for, for you to do that every single game, and what's this his fourth time doing it? You know, that's I mean, that speaks volumes. That just that just shows his his approach to the game, you know, how seriously he he approaches it and how seriously he loves it. You know, uh, he dedicates his all to his craft, to his body. And uh, we're happy as an organization we were a part of it tonight. Did you have you kind of found like a new love for the game playing with him? Uh I would say my approach has been different. I feel like I always love the game, uh, but I would say my my approach to the game and my mental and and just being locked in and being you know one of the best players on the floor at all times and channeling that that mindset. I think I definitely credit him for that. You know, to be able to witness him. I mean, he's MVP. Uh, I say it all the time. Whenever he's talking, I'm listening. He's giving advice. I'm listening, and because uh, that's where I want to be one day. So. 
Uh, it's just it's just a matter of just constantly trusting your work, putting in that work, and uh, letting the results speak for themselves. But I definitely credit a lot of my success this year to him, for sure. Thanks. Last question from Fred. Hey, Brad. Um, you guys have talked so much about Russ's competitiveness this year and how that's had an effect on you. I'm wondering, he's also kind of one of the most routine oriented guys I've ever covered. It seems to have the, do the exact same thing every day, every practice. When you watch a guy who has that exact same routine all the time and obviously has that kind of success with it, how does the routine aspect impact either you or maybe other guys on the roster? Doesn't Every man has their own routine. I have mine. Um, every man has their, their routine before games, off days. I mean, I do the same things when whenever I work out. You know, my shooting routine is the same. My workout routine is the same. Uh, and the same way, I'm, I think everybody's like that in the league. You know, you eventually, the first couple of years, you try to figure out what your niche is, you know, uh, figure out what works for you. And then eventually, you know, you're able to develop yourself into a player to where you know what you, you have to work on, you know what you, what you're going to do on the floor and you, and you try to perfect those things. Um, and he's definitely one of those guys, you know, just his attention to detail, his attention to his body. Uh, he take care of his body. I think that's that's more than key than anything. It's being healthy. Uh, you, you're a healthy body. You're a threat at all times. So it's uh, it's amazing to see and definitely honored to be a part of it. Uh, and you could say a lot of his, his uh, I guess, tendencies have kind of trickled down to the rest of the team. These fat burner pills, I swear by them. I started off over 200 pounds and now I'm 180. The best supplements that I've added to my daily routine. I've been taking it for one month and I've also lost five pounds. Game changer, guys. This stuff is amazing. This one's got all the good stuff and no artificials, nothing you don't want. Plant-based, lactose-free, lab-tested, non-GMO. Wow, such a richness to the flavor. High quality, very digestible for people out there who face dietary restrictions. Absolutely incredible. It tastes like French toast cereal. My favorite flavor is actually sour kids candy. And it helps you metabolize all that fat. It's the only sort of difference you have to see the difference. The products are great. I highly recommend it. Amazing product. I've seen amazing results. This is awesome. Love the product. Keep them coming. It gets a thumbs up for me.